Hi guys, and welcome to The Family Fudge. Today, I'm sharing Thanksgiving-inspired baby names. Now, these are names that I absolutely love, but probably will never use. So stay tuned, and I will share them all with you. Okay guys, so before I jump right in here, I do feel like I need some disclaimers because I've done baby name videos before and each time I do, I get the same questions and comments. So let's get those out of the way first. Number one, no, I'm not currently pregnant. I do have four kids that are seven and under, so right now we're good, but I'm not closing the door to the possibility of another child in the future. So I always have names in my head possibly for the future, maybe not. Now, unfortunately, every time I do one of these videos, I get some not so nice comments as well. Like, it's silly for me to do a video like this if I'm not currently pregnant. But to me, I feel like that's like saying I'm not allowed to like piano music if I'm not an actual piano player, which I think is, that's pretty silly to me. I think to each their own when it comes to what you like, right? Now to tell you the truth, I'm kind of a name nerd, a secret onomatologist, if you will. Now onomatology is the study of names, their origins, and their meanings, and I'm totally into that. I love to know all of that kind of stuff. So to me, it's more than just baby names, it's the history and the culture that comes along with names. And now with all of my disclaimers out of the way, we can go ahead and get started. I'm gonna be sharing five girl names and five boy names that are somehow inspired or make me think of things Thanksgiving, and these are in no particular order. So as I'm going through this list, I'm gonna share with you the name, its origin, how popular it is, and why it makes me think of Thanksgiving. And I found all of this information on babycenter.com, so you can go ahead and check out that website if you want more information. Now first on my list, I have a girl name, and it is Teresa, or Teresa, depending on how you pronounce it. Now I do have my little cheat sheet here just because I don't want to get anything wrong, so I may be looking at that just a bit. The name Teresa actually means to harvest and it is of Spanish origin. And right now it's number 667 on the popularity list. So it's really not obscure, it's kind of an old world name, but it's also not super popular either. And I really think the nickname Tess or Tessa for a little girl would be so sweet. And obviously with the meaning of to harvest, it definitely makes me think of Thanksgiving. Now before I move on to my first boy name, I forgot to tell you why I like these names, but we'll probably never use them. And that's because if we do ever have any more kids in this family, I already have two names in mind, and it's not any of these ones. So I like them, but probably won't ever use them. Now first in the boy category, I have the name Jaden. Now Jaden actually means thankful and is of Hebrew origin. And right now it's number 27 on the popularity list. So it's pretty popular, but not the top 10 either. So I like that. With the meaning of thankful, I definitely think of Thanksgiving. Now the next baby girl name that I love, but probably will never use is Dorothy. Now I know you might think of the Wizard of Oz when I say the name Dorothy, but come to find out it was popular way before that movie. Now the name Dorothy is actually an English variation of the Greek name Dorothea and it means gift of God. And it's actually number 652 on the popularity list this year. So it's actually um, gaining in popularity, but still not super popular, so I like that. And I really think the nickname Dottie would be really cute for a little girl these days. I love those old, um, old names with the charm. Yeah, I really like that. But come to find out, the name Dorothy was actually really popular amongst pilgrims on the Mayflower. There was actually two women on the Mayflower named Dorothy. Did you guys know that? Pretty interesting. The next baby boy name that I love but definitely will never use is Cedric. Now this name did actually make it onto the short list when we were naming Griffin because if you don't already know, all of my kids have Harry Potter inspired names so Cedric would have worked, <laughs> would have worked along with that but we went with Griffin instead. Now the name Cedric actually is of Celtic origin and it's number 914 on the popularity list. And it actually means bounty. So when I think of Thanksgiving and the bountiful harvest, I think Cedric definitely goes along with that. The next baby girl name that I love is Eleanor. Now Eleanor is actually of Greek origin and it means a bright shining one. And it's actually really popular this year, it's number 41 which is why I was pretty surprised to find the name Eleanor on the list of passengers on the Mayflower. So Eleanor was a pilgrim name, although it was spelt a little bit differently on that list. It was spelt with an I, I believe. But yes, I love the name Eleanor. 
I feel like you could shorten it to Ellie, that would be so cute. Moving back to the boy category, the next name that I really love is Miles. Now this is usually spelt with an I these days, but if you spell it with a Y, it might make you think of Miles Standish. Now Miles Standish was one of the most famous Mayflower pilgrims and was one of the leaders on that ship. And it actually means soldier or merciful. The name Miles is of English origin and it's a form of the name Milo. And this year it's number 105 on the popularity list. So if I was gonna use the name Miles, I would probably spell it with an I. The next baby girl name that I love is Elizabeth. I feel like Elizabeth is a classic name for all times. It was popular way back then and it's still popular today. Unlike the name Jennifer, which it seems like nobody names their babies Jennifer anymore. Why is that? Anyway, the name Elizabeth actually means pledged to God, and it's of Hebrew origin, and it's actually number 13 on the popularity list this year. So it's pretty, it's pretty high up there. But apparently there were several ladies named Elizabeth on the Mayflower. Isn't that interesting? And I also think the name Elizabeth can be shortened to so many cute nicknames. We have Eliza and Lizzie and Beth. Yeah, so many cute nicknames with Elizabeth. Now, just like the name Elizabeth, the next baby boy name I have was popular way back in the time of the Mayflower and is still popular today. And it is Thomas. Now, Thomas is of Greek origin and it actually means twin. And right now, according to Nameberry.com, it's number four on the popularity list, so it's pretty popular. Now, personally, I would never use the name Thomas, although I really like it, and I like the nickname Tommy. I think that would be really sweet. But I would never use it because my brother-in-law's name is Thomas, and we call him Tom. Good old Uncle Tom. So I feel like that name is already taken in our family. Okay guys, so the last Thanksgiving inspired baby girl name that I love is Grace. Now Grace is one of those names that was popular then and is still popular today. It's been popular the whole time. But there are some names on this list that were popular way back then that have made sort of a comeback. So it's interesting how that happens. But the name Grace is one of those virtue names. The names like Charity and Patience and Faith were really popular amongst women um, of the Mayflower era and out of all of those names, I think my favorite virtue name is Grace. I think it's really cute. I know several little girls with the name Grace and they're really cute. And Grace is number 19 on the popularity list this year. Now the last baby boy name on my list is Elias. Now Elias actually means Yahweh is God. And according to babycenter.com, it's the Greek variation of the Hebrew name Elijah, which I also really like the name Elijah as well. Now, when I think of Elias, I automatically think of Walt Disney because Walt Disney's middle name was Elias, so I definitely like that connection there. But Elias is another one of those names that was popular um, amongst passengers on the Mayflower. Now, just so you guys know, when I was going through this list, the most popular name for, for men on the Mayflower was John. There were 15 people on that ship named John. And for women, the most popular name was Mary. There were six ladies named Mary on the Mayflower. Okay, friends, if you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and let me know in the comments down below if you can think of any more Thanksgiving-inspired names because I'd love to check them out. If you'd like to see my last baby names video, you can click on the link right up here. And if you'd like to see my last video, you can click on the link down there. And don't forget to subscribe because I am planning to make a Christmas baby name video next month. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.